And this morning, there are renewed calls for Philadelphia officials to crack down on dirt bikes and ATVs. Over the weekend, illegal vehicles swarmed the streets of Center City and other neighborhoods. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is live along the Ben Franklin Parkway this morning with more on this story. Good morning to you, Jasmine. Good morning, Janelle. This call comes after a weekend with several violent incidents, including a shooting involving an ATV rider. But today, some city leaders are at odds over what can be done about them. Take a look at this. Over the weekend, an ATV riders, groups of a dirt bike over Columbus Boulevard over the weekend. Officials say Sunday night, riders surrounded an unoccupied police patrol unit and smashed its windows. Republican Councilman David O says police are not engaging with the riders because of requests from Mayor Jim Kane. While the mayor's office says police have been successful in confiscating hundreds of dirt bikes, ATVs, and scooters, and will continue to confiscate and ticket them. District Attorney Larry Krasner says his office will move forward with charges as they are presented, but says the arrests have to be done sensibly. It is not sensible to act like we can have high speed chases with police cars chasing kids on unregistered motorbikes without running over pedestrians. So uh, we support them 100% in that activity. We work with them all the time. And to the extent they are able to make arrests. A Philadelphia Police Department spokesperson says their best tool in all of this is to prevent these groups from gathering in large numbers. We're live along the parkway. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Certainly been a nuisance for so many communities. Jasmine, thank you for that.